The first time I had this dessert was a few years ago when my cousin invited us over for dinner. At dessert time, she served this delectable concoction she claimed she got out of a package. I rushed home and tried to recreate it. Today, I'm going to share with you my recipe for Kesar Faluda. Kesar Faluda can be made and served in so many different ways. Some are tall, elaborate structures served in tall glasses and it's layered ice cream, vermicelli and also chia seeds known as tukamaria or sabja in Hindi. Some of them also include jello cubes. Today I'm going to share with you my version which is a really pared down and very simple version. It consists of two elements. One is ice cream and the other is a topping that I'm going to be making with condensed milk, milk, nuts, ghee and saffron strands. I'm also going to add some delicious vermicelli in there. What I love about this recipe is that you can make it ahead, store it in your refrigerator and you can just pour it over ice cream when you're ready to serve it. Let's start with the vermicelli. I'm using half a cup of roasted vermicelli. Now basically these are a thicker vermicelli and they're cut into one inch pieces. If you watch my video for sheer korma or sevia, you will see that those noodles are very different from these ones. I'm basically going to boil these in boiling water and I'm going to drain it and keep it aside. In a saucepan, I'm going to add one can of condensed milk. This is about 300 ml of condensed milk. I'm also going to add half that or 150 ml of just regular milk and I'm going to bring this to the boil. I'm also going to add one generous pinch of kesar strands or saffron. Now these are harvested every year from the crocus flower. They're the stamens of the crocus flower and they come from Spain. Every year there's a very small crop and these are sold all over the world. This is what gives kesar faluda its name as well as a beautiful golden glow. I'm going to continue to cook this mixture till the condensed milk starts to bubble and it's also going to cook down. Make sure to stir very frequently as you don't want it to burn at the bottom. Also make sure to scrape the sides of your saute pan. After my mixture has cooked down, I'm just gonna keep it aside briefly. And in a frying pan, I'm going to add one tablespoon of ghee. This is clarified butter. And once that's heated up, I'm going to add half a cup of mixed nuts. Now you can use any nuts of your choice. I'm using a mixture of slivered almonds, pistachios, and cashew nuts. I'm going to saute this till they're nice and golden brown, and then I'm just going to pour this right into my condensed milk mixture. I'm going to follow this with the vermicelli. I'm going to give this a really good mix, and it's ready. I'm just going to take it off the heat and put it into a container and let it chill in the fridge. When you're ready to serve this, all you need to do is add this over a dollop of ice cream. I'm going to add a little more pistachios just for garnish, and this is optional, but you can add a little swirl of rose syrup just to give it an additional flavor and a hint of color. I'm using just regular store-bought ice cream in this recipe, but if you want something spectacular, you can try my kulfi recipe. You can make this instead and use it as the base of your kesar faluda. If you want to try my recipe for my sheer korma or sevia, you can check this one out as well. Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Food Adventures. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I have new videos every Friday and I have bonus videos on some Wednesdays. So make sure that you're subscribed. Until I see you again, do take care. Bye.